Well, here we are. Another week of NFL football has come to an end. And a rather thrilling week of NFL football, to be completely honest with you. Um, let's start off on Thursday night. The Eagles take the NFC East lead. They are in front of the division now at 2-4-1. and one. Um, Daniel Jones, of course, had a big 80-yard run and tripped all over himself. And the Giants had kept the Eagles, you know, mostly contained for that game until very late. I mean, it's very simple. You can't let this happen. You can't you can't give up big plays. You can't mess up against Carson Wentz. You can't do that. You cannot do that, especially when the Eagles start turning on that magic that they like to do, you know, of coming back and winning games that aren't supposed to be won, you know. They did it again. They did it again against the Giants. So the Eagles are in the lead. Let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys real quick before we get on to the real meat of the situation because, oh my God, the Washington defense looked like the steel curtain. They looked like the monsters of the midway. They looked like the purple people eaters out there against Andy Dalton, who got injured, by the way, and left the game in the third quarter with a concussion, thus letting James Madison quarterback who lost the national championship against North Dakota State, Ben DiNucci, come up in here. And he didn't do anything either. Just an absolutely dreadful performance by the Cowboys once again. Turnovers are plenty. Offensive line is bad. Defense is god-awful. It's just rough out here, man. It is rough. And it... You know, I mean, the NFC is coming to an it's coming to a head. You know, this you know for Week Eight, because why why not why not subject the world to a primetime NFC East game again? We're not talking about that right now. What we are talking about is you know some interesting stuff going on in the NFL. I mean, the Browns had a shootout with. The Bengals of all teams. I mean, it was a shootout between Joe Burrow and Baker Mayfield. Crazy, crazy time. I was sitting here like, wow, what in the world? And the Browns barely get the win. Donovan People Jones got the game when he touched down. Odell Beckham is done for the season. It's unfortunate for the Browns. I mean, come on. You know, but they did get the victory. They're still in the hunt. You know, for one of those big-time playoff spots and everything like that. The Bills, on the other hand, had to struggle a little bit. You know, they also struggled against the Jets, but they still beat the Jets. You know, six field goals isn't bad. Six field goals is not bad at all. What about the Packers? Um, they took care of business. You know, Devontae Adams caught a couple of touchdowns from Aaron Rodgers, and they just, it was the Texans. Who cares? <laughs> Uh, Saints Panthers was pretty interesting towards the end because the Panthers, you know, they went with a 65 yard field goal to win the game against the Saints and it didn't go in, which is rather unfortunate. Um, I think the Panthers are under 500 now, but they're still in the mix as well. Do not count this team out, don't count out the Saints either. They looked kind of rusty at times. But don't count either of those teams out of the playoff race just yet. Um, you know, I mean, come on. When, when you talk about the Falcons, and when you talk about the Lions, you talk about blown leads. And, you know, you don't go for a touchdown with under a minute to go when you're down by two getting ready to maybe kick a game-winning field goal, you don't go into the end zone allowing the Lions to come back. And guess what? The Lions are 500. They are also in the mix for some playoff, for some playoff you know, craziness now since we have seven teams. I don't know how that's going to go for the Lions because, I mean, there's still a long season to go. But the Falcons blew another lead. And I mean, I, I I just I just don't care. I just don't care about the Falcons. Like it's it, it's just the factory of sadness out there. But 
but but but yeah, the real game of the week, the real big time game that everybody was talking about, you know, one of the big games at noon was the Steelers and the Titans, and the Steelers come out on top. They are the last undefeated team, and we'll talk about why in a moment. But, you know, Big Ben did not make it easy, you know, through three interceptions. You know, that defense was looking pretty damn good for a little while. Um, then, you know, the Titans went back up in it. A.J. Brown had 150 yards. You can't have that. You know, pass defense got to get, you know, the pass defense got exploited a little bit today. They kept Derrick Henry in check. He only had, he had a touchdown, but he only had, he didn't have 100 yards rushing. But, uh, Deontay Johnson looked pretty good out there. I will tell you that for the Steelers. He had two touchdown receptions. And, I mean, come on. The Steelers are the last undefeated team right now. So, I wonder how that's going to go for them. They're riding high. They have lots of momentum. They've beaten a team that, you know, gave up a fight in the Titans. You can't you can't, can't dwell on this loss for too long. got to pick yourselves back up. And keep going. So what about the Bucks and the Raiders? One of the other big games of the day that got stuck at a 3.05 start time, which is rather unfortunate. Um, and it got moved, actually, from Sunday night to this time slot, which was originally supposed to be for something else. We'll talk about that game in a moment. Um, well, Bucks pretty much just dominated the Raiders. I mean, they couldn't, the Raiders couldn't really do too much. But yeah, they scored some points, but you know, Tom Brady threw four touchdown passes in that game, uh, including, you know, one to Gronk that ties one of those random records that, you know, that people always be talking about, you know, like the, you know, a quarterback to receiver TV connection or something like that. They're like second all time now. But the Bucks defense was looking pretty fierce out there. And the Raiders just couldn't do much. They had, you know, the game was close for a little bit, but the, the Bucks pulled away and started beating ass in that fourth quarter. You can't allow that to happen. You can't do that if you're, you know, I mean, this is supposed to be John Gruden's revenge game against Tampa Bay. You know, you know, he's still he's still mad about that whole talk rule and stuff like that happened way back in the day with Tom Brady. But it just didn't go well for him. Just didn't go well at all. Broncos played a game in the snow with the Chiefs and got blown out. I mean, come on. You already knew this was coming. A blowout for the Chiefs, you know, just not even interesting at all. I mean, you know, you have Drew Locke out there throwing bad passes, and you know, and, you know, guys like the Honey Badger are gonna eat, you know, bad throws up and take them all the way back, you know, for for big plays and whatnot. So the Chiefs just easily dispatched the Broncos. Uh, Chargers, Chargers beat the Jags. I'm very surprised at that. Um, I mean. These two teams really aren't in contention for anything anyway, but it was a rather high-scoring game, I will tell you that. But the Patriots, the Patriots, on the other hand, are in trouble. They are in trouble. Four interceptions, three by Cam Newton. Cam Newton gets benched, by the way. And Jeff Wilson Jr. ran a clinic on the Patriots. Three touchdowns for him. And I think he, he actually got injured as well, but you know, dominant performance by the 49ers. It's just absolutely dominant performance. What a performance by the 49ers. They're still in the mix. You know, the entire NFC West could become playoff eligible, they could go to the playoffs. And in a game that got moved to Sunday night, what a game it was! Kyler Murray. Versus Russell Wilson in a game that was just back and forth all over the place. The Cardinals didn't lead until, you know, very late into the game. And I don't think they even led until they won the game. You know, 37-34, what a game it was. You know, Buda Baker 
had, you know, a big time interception. And DK Metcalf came up and said, nope, you are not getting into the end zone, buddy. You are not getting into the end zone. I mean, just come on, man. Come on. That is some hustle right there. That is some swagger right there. And that game, and you know, just that could have prevented. Ugh, that could have prevented, you know, so much from happening. That, like, like this game was just intense from beginning to end. We're getting another one of those in prime time. We're getting a Thursday night football edition of this game soon, so be prepared. Last but not least, a defensive battle that really wasn't a defensive battle. It was the Aaron Donald show. You know, Jared Goff and company did just enough to get by Nick Foles and the Bears. You know, just it was pretty much a dominant game for the Rams, to be completely honest. I mean, the Bears could do anything on offense. They were getting basically blown out in this game It, as far as the defensive struggle goes, you know. Just just absolutely good performance by the Rams. They did very, very well. The Bears, boy, did they need some offense. You know, the Rams, sometimes they look a little anemic on offense, but they have weapons. Bears, they got to pick it up. They got to pick up the pace on offense. They have to pick it up. So, that's about it for week seven, you know, as far as the games go. What about some major storylines? Well, we know the Steelers are undefeated, but there are a lot of teams in the AFC that are looking pretty damn interesting, you know. I mean, the Chiefs are still there, you know. You got, you got, you got the Browns that are looking interesting this year. You got the Titans that are always interesting. And, they, I mean, there's just so much going on there. You know, who's going to have, you know, the, the number one pick, that's a storyline that I think is going to have some value very, very soon. The Jets came close to winning, but they didn't get that cigar. But they might be in a race with the Falcons right now for the number one seed. I mean, for, I mean, for the number one pick. I'm not not going to lie to you. And the NFC is as bad as ever, but hey, every team is still in it. Even the Giants are still in it. So, that being said, see y'all tomorrow for week eight, you know, of the NFL. And like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the good stuff. Share the video, turn on that notification bell. We'll see you tomorrow.